Good afternoon. This video concerns the reproduction hotshot battery box currently being offered for sale by the Fordson House in Michigan. The current price in September 2020 was $135. This box, when it arrives, is wrapped in cellophane. The top of the box is made in such a way that it is held on by small detents that are pressed into the box housing itself with holes drilled through the lid. And it is, of course, made out of galvanized steel. The inside of the box has the ground wire already mounted and riveted to the housing. There is a decal that you can apply to the outside of the box. And it also contains a two-way knife switch, which you will have to mount to the box itself. The overall dimensions of this box is seven and one half inches deep two and three quarter inches wide and approximately 11 inches wide. Now this box in particular I noticed that the base plate which it is attached to uh, has three holes already provided for mounting to the crankcase of your tractor just below the coil box. The box itself is riveted onto that base plate and of note, my tractor, which is a 1926 Model F, did have this base plate attached to the crankcase directly below where the coil box should have been. And unfortunately, the only thing remaining of the hotshot battery box on my tractor was in fact just this base plate. But as you can see, the holes do line up and it's the same size as a appears to be a faithful reproduction of, of the original. The battery that I have been using for testing is a Rayovac 6 volt battery and its part number is 918. That's the Rayovac part number and this battery is available off of Amazon for approximately $18. It has served very well through my initial testing and starting of my tractor and hopefully it will be a suitable replacement since the EverReady Hotshot battery is no longer being produced. The dimensions of this battery, if you wish to use it in this box, as you can see, uh, there's ample room for it, so there's no problems in that respect. But whatever battery you have, I'm sure will work. Of note, as you can see, the box is already pre-drilled for the mounting of this knife switch. And the knife switch again, it is a two-way switch. And it does have terminals on each point of that knife switch. Uh, one end for your battery, the opposite for your magneto, and then your uh, center position to go to the coil box. So as you can see, the size of these lugs on the knife switch, you will have to uh, create some uh, wiring harnesses of your own to make your uh, connections between your magneto post and your coil box and your battery. Uh, however, this should be suitable. Uh, the purpose of the box on my tractor is simply that I have lost faith in uh, the starting on the magneto and not getting injured at the same time. Although everything has worked out well uh, up to this point with testing with the battery, I've decided that I'm going to use this period accessory to start on a battery and then switch over to magneto just to make safer starts. So again, uh, just a short video on the hotshot battery box. Uh, overall, appears to be of good construction, good uh, grade of steel and thickness being used, and perhaps this is something you may want to consider for your tractor. Once I have it assembled and mounted on the tractor, wired up, I'll make a video in the future so you can see just how it works. Take care.